Namaste. In this video, I want to share the story of my visits to Chota Nikara Bhagwati Temple in Kochi. I have been blessed to visit this temple since 2010-2011 and every visit has been fulfilling and spiritually progressive and I get to learn and experience something new. People from all sects and levels of life come to this temple for Devi's blessings and it can be heard from the chanting of Ame Narayana Devi Narayana Lakshmi Narayana Bhatri Narayana as people believe that it is the place where Lakshmi and Narayana stay. Legends state that this temple has been built by Adi Shankaracharya who prayed to Parvati Devi in the Himalayas as he wanted to establish a temple in Kerala for her. She appears and agrees to come on one condition that he leads and she will follow. And if at any time he turns around, she will stop and become a statue right there. They walk for a long time and around Kuduchatri hills, he stops hearing Anklet's sound and peeps to have a quick look. And Devi knowingly smiles and becomes a statue. Shankaracharya then pleads with her to come to Kerala and after some time she agrees to come to Chota Nikara during the morning as Saraswati and then return to Koluru where they originally stopped. Thus we see the Chota Nikara temple opening early at 4 am and Koluru temple opens only at 5 am after that. In Chota Nikara, Devi is worshipped in different forms. The male cow Bhagavati, which is the main deity, is worshipped as Mahasaraswati. She is dressed in white in the morning. During midday, she is worshipped as Mahalakshmi, dressed in crimson, and in the evening as Mahaparvati, dressed in blue. The Devi is also worshipped at Kil Kau, as Kil Kau Bhagavati, which is in her ferocious Ugra Bhagavati form. Chota Nikara temple opens very early at 4 a.m. every day and at 3.30 a.m. on Fridays and remains open from 4 a.m. to 12 p.m. ending with Siveli, which is the procession of the Devi around the temple. This procession of the Devi is on the elephant twice in the day at 6 a.m. and at 8 p.m. and on foot at 12 p.m. The temple also opens at 4 p.m. and stays on the 8 p.m. in the afternoon. I have covered a part of the procession of the elephant later in the video. In the main temple, Bhagavati is a Swayambhu idol, which is about 4 to 5 feet in height and is of a circular shape and it's almost like a Shivalinga. We can see the Swayambhu idol of the Devi only at 4 am when the temple opens for the Malya Darshana. Narayana is believed to be on the right hand side of the Bhagavati in the Karpakriha. Please be sure to worship him as you enter the temple. During the day, Bhagavati is dressed up in gold and jewels and flowers and garlands and there are a lot of lights lit for her. She holds a disc in her upper right hand and in the upper left, she bears the conch. The lower right hand is held in a boon conferring pose and the lower left indicates the abhaya pose. The Devi in the temple is known for healing powers, particularly relating to mental illness and disorders. Apart from the main deity, the temple complex consists of Kilkau Bhagavati Temple, temples for Sashta, Shiva, Ganapati, Nagas and other Upadevas. The Rutravishekam for Shiva on Fridays and other days is very auspicious and is very positive and peaceful to witness this puja which is done at 11 am. The Deeparathana puja happens in the evening at 4 pm and lighting of all the Deepas which have been placed around the temple walls provides much joy as many people gather and participate in lighting of these Deepas. I have been blessed to light the Deepas during one of the visits to the temple. The Kilkau Bhagavati temple is on the eastern side of the temple pond. The idol is facing westward. After the main puja in the evening at 
the chief priest of the principal deity comes to kill kaavu to perform the famous and great valai guruti puja valai guruti means great sacrifice the guruti is prepared in 12 huge vessels and this and this puja is performed at around 8:45 pm every night while we watch the elephant being dressed up for the siveli procession and eating and enjoying the feeding time i also wanted to share a concept of bhajanam which is followed by devotees in the temple during friday a set of devotees come by 3:30 am and stay in the temple throughout the day worshiping and praying the devi and visiting all the temples of the and other gods of the temple premises this is a good way of staying silent and doing chanting and prayers and being in meditation throughout the day inside the temple and receiving the prasadam and completing the whole day with this to see the day and the valai guruji which is one day of prasadam hope i have been able to share most of the prayers and practices here about the chota nikara temple bhagavati devi has been a big source of power for me and every visit brings much joy and peace